Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on Live 3 Music. Welcome and thank you for stopping by. It's fantastic you are here. Well, I trust you enjoyed my last video on Australian music icon Delta Goodrum. And through a few of her songs, we talked about how we can be a positive difference in this world. So I trust you found that one encouraging. Well, we're going from there to, to an artist that was born in 1992 in Albuquerque in New Mexico. Who we're talking about? Demi Lovato. Now, Demi, certainly by the age of 10, was well and truly demonstrating their outstanding musical talent. Um, singing, playing guitar, playing piano, and it wasn't long before the, the iconic American children's show Barney and Friends approached Demi and said, do you want to be part of the Barney gang? Now, Demi said, yep, that sounds like a great idea. And so over the next little while, Demi would follow Barney around while he had his adventures. But the big break for Demi came in 2008 when Demi was approached by Disney to, be, to take up the lead in Camp Rock. Now, I remember Camp Rock coming into our house here and how much of an inspiration it was to my three children at the time and how they thought, well, if, if this character can do it, why can't we? And so very inspiring indeed. The story went that uh, Demi played a character who was a kitchen hand and by the end uh, delivered an absolutely stunning song at the end of camp concert and at that point Demi Lovato shot into superstardom. It did, it did help also that the Jonas Brothers were part of this particular movie and so it was a, just an all-round positive experience for everybody. There was a sequel, Camp Rock 2, and then in 2009 Disney approached Demi again and said, hey, do you want to be part of this thing at Sunny with a Chance? And so that was a show about a show and about the cast and so Demi said, yeah, I can be part of that. That is for sure. And so by this point, Demi Lovato was an absolute superstar. Very much a teenage inspiration. And apart from the 10 movies and video apps, video appearances, between 2008 and 2021, there's been seven studio albums, two video albums, 44 music videos, five EPs, 44 singles, two soundtracks, that would be Camp Rock 1 and 2, 11 promotional singles, 2.7 million albums sold, 23.8 million downloads, and 5.6 billion streams. This is where we are these days. It's not so much album sales anymore. It's all about the digital streams, and 5.6 billion is pretty significant. Now, Demi has been acclaimed for having an incredible voice in fact, this was really evident when Demi sang at the American National Anthem at the 20, in 2020 at Super Bowl 54, and there were accolades all over the place about how well Demi sang that song in that particular moment. Very high stakes indeed, and you just have to get it right. And who did they choose for that? Demi Lovato, and the rest of this history there. Demi has been pop, quite popular, 209 nominations for awards and 59 wins, including Almer Awards, ASCAP Pop Awards, BMI Pop Awards, Latin Music, People's Choice, Teen Choice. There's been uh, quite a lot of success there and accolades from the industry as well as fans. And so um, an absolute superstar here is what we're talking about today. Now, this channel always tries to be positive uh, with any artist that it comes up against. And, um, but we can't deny that the story that Demi has had over the years, but instead of looking at that too much, I want to see what Demi has actually done with it to inspire millions around the world. Because when we are struggling, there's two things we can do. We can either just pretend like it's all right and carry on regardless and just pretend like nothing's wrong, or we can come out and be totally honest about it and use, use our voice and our image as an opportunity to perhaps speak positivity into the world. Now this is what Demi did at the 2020 Grammy Awards. Now, it doesn't get much 
bigger and more full on than performing at the Grammy Awards. In fact, if you do uh, get asked to perform at the Grammy Awards, you know you have well and truly made it and you are actually respected by the industry. So Demi could have come out with a song, Hey, Look At Me, Aren't I Good? And, you know, just done that sort of thing. But instead, she chose the song, Anyone. Now, the clip, uh, the link to the clip is below. But what we hear here is we have Demi Lovato in an absolutely stunning white dress. It's just Demi and a piano player. And Demi talks about, is there anybody out there? No one is listening. I pray and it doesn't mean anything. Well and truly bearing the soul here and trying to say, tell people, hey, look, I'm still around. I'm just a bit struggling here, but I'm still here. An extremely courageous thing to do when you're as, as, in, as famous as Demi actually is to be able to come out and sing a song like this one, to sing it live. In fact, when you watch the clip, you'll notice that um, Demi does start to sing. At that point, probably realise it didn't start so well, then pauses and starts again. There is grace, there is strength, there is inspiration in this performance. So I think the Demi Lovato story is, 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 is quite inspirational, and that is that for anybody out there that is struggling and not coping, we can pretend like it's okay and not worry or we can be honest with the world and honest with ourselves about how things are going the worst thing we can do is just to to just hope it'll go away because sometimes it doesn't sometimes we need to actually come out front and actually and because um, other people know about it those that, that you trust they can ask you how you're going in a bit of a different way instead of saying, how are you today? Oh, fine, thanks. It's so how are you going? Yeah, well, you know, uh, yeah, it's interesting. I caught up with a professional last week and had a bit of a chat. So it's good to have people in your life that you can talk to about this stuff. Because often after professional appointments, we need to then debrief with someone. And having trusted friends to do that uh, kind of just makes it a little bit more real somehow. So if you're going through stuff right now, may the Demi Lovato story inspire you to, to, to be a little bit more upfront with yourself and upfront with those closest with you and say, hey, I need help here. And, uh, and that can be really beneficial to you. So I trust that you will be, you found that an encouragement today. Well, on to the clips. And we've got three clips from Demi Lovato today. We've got that 2020 Anyone performance from the Grammys. This came from the album Dancing with the Devil, The Art of Starting Over. Just gives you a bit of an indication of where Demi was at this particular point. And, and really telling the world, hey, I'm, I'm wanting to start again. So here we have this iconic Grammys performance. And you'll see what I mean by how brave Debbie is here to be able to sing this one and sing it so well. This performance has taken the world by storm. We've also got, we'll go back to the start with This Is Me. This is actually a live version with the Jonas Brothers. So that came back from 2008. And we've also got, a thing, again, along the lines of being honest with the world, the song Sober. This was released as a single in 2018. And uh, here again is a live performance, and here we see Demi playing the piano and singing to a live crowd. So the links to those three songs are in the description below. And by the way, I've also included Delta Goodrum. If you want to recap on that one, feel free. Well, if you've come back for another video, as we looked at being honest with ourselves sometimes, thank you for for coming back or if this is your first time the life reflections through music welcome to the channel and the encouragement always is to come back for some more if you'd like to make a request um, feel free to drop it in the comments below well that's it for today next time we're going to go on to an icon of the music industry uh, Dion Warwick so until then I'll catch you around <laughs>